Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to XCOM 2 and our Commander playthrough in what will probably be the very last XCOM 2 episode of this series. We're heading into Operation Leviathan. We're gonna try and, uh, well, assault the alien fortress and put an end to all of this. So let's see who we're gonna take on this mission. Commander, we can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is critical to our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. It is sad for Benito, of course, but I'm not going to take a wounded soldier um, into the field with us. But I am going to set up the team in a second, so give me, uh, well, that second. So yeah, I think this is it. It's pretty much an all-star team, so um, we have in our team Gistov the Runner. It's been a while since he joined us. But uh, as a, an extreme shotgun ranger, he should be uh, a very nice addition to the team. So Talon rounds and the uh, hazmat suit should make him uh, invulnerable for any status effects. Then Vinny, for once he has the war suit on, because I figured he doesn't really need the, um, the, wa the, the raid suit to get closer, because he, uh, well, he should be fast enough on his own to keep uh, a close eye on everybody in the neighborhood with his pistol. And of course the EMP rounds on him. Then Cedric has the Wraith suit to get him up top. He has, um, I upgraded his weapon with a superior autoloader so he should be able to reload freely three times instead of only two. And then I went for the Tracer rounds to give him even more aim so that adds 10 more aim. I think it gives him a total of so 96 and 25, 100 and uh, 22 aim that is which is of course uh, 21 121 aim which is amazing but should help uh, nail his uh, overwatch shots so because that's what, what we're gonna use him for mostly now we have Uri of course the the fan favorite Uri our grenadier the only grenadier for once so still a war suit with the shredstorm cannon one proximity mine and two acid bombs should be able to uh, help us out greatly. You, I'm gonna save those to um, take out most of the armor of the enemies we're gonna face. And then um, Jazz with only one Mimic Beacon. Um, it's gonna be tough but he has the war suit with the Plasma Blaster on as a last resort as well and that Mimic Beacon I'm gonna have to be really really careful when I use that actually. And then we have Hugh um, who's gonna double up as a hacking uh, well, a skull jacking specialist and of course our medic, which I think we're gonna have to use uh, since there's 31 enemies on this map. But yeah, I never played, played this mission, Assault the Alien Fortress, Operation Leviathan. Here we go. I'm very curious what this will be and I think we're gonna start with a cutscene. So enjoy. There. I've infused this material with the entirety of our viable Elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. Watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. Oh, we're going in suit again. What was that? That was creepy. Now, Lily. Initiating network connection. Give them hell. We will. So that means that we as a commander are now in control of Kate that avatar. Ready, sir. Patch me through. Alright, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie, and their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy, but you're used to that. You did what was needed. You never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. Oh, look at that. 
Humanity is counting on us, people. Good luck, Commander. Freaking awesome! A final stand trophy! Here we go. The trophies kind of prove that I haven't really played this before. Because otherwise we wouldn't be getting them. No way of knowing if they detect our presence yet. Holy shit, this is awesome. And that's the Ethereal, so one of the Elders. And we have seven guys in our team right now, because of course, the Avatar is on our side right now, the Commander's Avatar. I'm quickly gonna check out his abilities. So he has a Psionic Repeater. Huh, interesting. How much damage does that do? I'm gonna check that out in a minute. Overwatch, the Null Lads. Uh, project a beam of psionic energy that damages every target it passes through, so kind of the same of the, as the Blasma Blaster. Dimensional Rift, open a large psionic rift that damages all units that remain inside its borders. And then Mind Control, seize active control of a target's mind. Huh. Okay, so let's do... I'm just quickly gonna check these. Detection radii of enemy units is increased because of the commander's avatar. That is interesting. Avatar is immune to any form of negative mental effects and the avatar quickly regains health when wounded. That is... interesting. Um... Okay then. Fine by me. We are not in concealment, apparently. Aside from maybe Kistofia, Kistofia is in concealment, which is good. Um... well... Let's get this going. Oh, I think... Yeah. Holy shit. Is that freaking 4 max? Okay. Damn. That is an interesting start. And I moved already. Um... Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. I know we have a sort of serial ability. For every kill made with your sniper rifle, your actions will be refunded. Which should be nice if I actually kill something with him. Um, which means I'm gonna just have to go for this. There are normal mechs in there, so that might actually make this easier. Uh, if I manage to get the heavy mech down as a start, that would be great. Here we go. There we go. Nice shredding. And then I'm gonna have to see about this. Because, um, of course, Vinny can probably kill one of these outright. But I can't get him further, of course. Um... Because the other two are just out of my reach. Which might be a problem. Might be a problem, but... 97 on that guy. 97 on that guy. So maybe we're gonna focus on the one... Uh, damn it. So I do lose my grenades. I might have made a mistake about that, but... If I use my lightning hands... I do want to use it now. And see what else I can do with anything else. So there we go. First shot. Just didn't kill the... But its hack defense has been decreased. I, don't, I can't really hack those right now. So I am going to fire my pistol at... That one again. Because that doesn't really use up my ammo. Oh, and that even missed. Okay. So that means we still have... A few guys left. I think I'm going to use the Avatar to get pretty much in a straight line. If I go over here... Wow, he's absolutely quiet, isn't he? I'm going to use my lightning reflexes, a lightning hand shot from Cedric on the mech that should kill him. 
There we go. That's one mech down. Well, how about that? How about that indeed? And then we're gonna go for... Hmm. Do I go for cereal already? Let's see what we can do with the null lands. Um, can we actually fire that in a straight line so we kill... No. No, 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 no. No, indeed. Okay, then. Um, I could go for this guy. That damages every target it passes through. Let's see what happens if I do it like this. It is six turns until I can use that again. Nine damage? Did that kill it? I think it did. Yeah, Advent Mac was killed. Okay. Good. That means if I want to do anything else, I'm going to have to fire at the back Mac. Losing its... Ooh, a bit of its health. There we go, five damage. Overwatch removed, which is good. And then I'm gonna try and use... Um, do we have anything else? No. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna use... Wow, I can't even kill that guy. Damn. Wait, they're out of my reach, aren't they? So if I just do... Uh, kill zone shots. No, I'm gonna use cereal. There we go. And then I'm gonna fire at the closest one, hopefully killing it. I think it should kill it automatically. There we go. Eight damage was the minimum I could do. You know that was good. Okay. Now I'm gonna fire again at the heavy mech. Not killing it, of course, but that was 10 damage. That was actually pretty good. And then I'm going to use Jazz to, uh, well, go on Overwatch. Hopefully he comes closer and dies because he gets too close. Or he's just going to try and fire at you. Oh, there's something else coming as well. There's a lot coming as well. That sounds like a sector pulled. Okay, there we go. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, come on, hit him. Hit him. Oh, yes. Okay, that was a gamble that worked out. Great, great. So that's the first enemies. I'm gonna actually... You've probably have seen this already, but I'm gonna add a, a kill counter on this mission. We're not really a part of you if you're just gonna kill us. If what? They they just stop there. Um, I'm just gonna use Kristoff further as a scout. I'm gonna have to wait and see here because there's a lot of things moving around in there. Just gonna move everybody up, and if something happens, I'll uh, see you guys in a second. Okay, we are being talked to to multiple by multiple ethereals. Is there? They have different names, which is interesting. Um, his stuff is still concealed, so I'm gonna put him right next to the window here to take a peek. He's gonna spot something. Hopefully, they don't spot. Holy shit balls! Wow. So that's um, two heavy max, two mutons. And a sector port. Okay then. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna set this up. And I guess I'll see you guys in a second. There we go. Okay. I set up Cedric as a sniper overwatch shot. So he should have been triggered. There we go. Because of the uh, movement of the aliens. And that should give me a first few shots at them. Before they actually uh, start attacking me. I'm hoping they go tr straight through the building and trigger every other overwatch shot as well. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, no. Getting reports from across the globe, Commander. 
Advent forces are hitting back hard. Our people are holding their own, but it's not looking good. Whatever we're gonna do, we better do it fast. Advent offered your people hope. A brighter future. To be something greater. But still, you refuse. What more can we offer you than the greatest gift of all? I am gonna just fire at these guys from over here then, because this is weird, they don't move. So, without further ado, let's start firing at some mutants, because they don't seem to mind. Here we go. Goodbye. And then we have a sniper shot with um, Vinny as well. Because I do wonder how this works, because they technically have been triggered. So the heavy mech, I could kill that. I think I am just going to kill that. Just because I can. There we go. Just trying to uh, take them out from over here. If they want to come closer, please do. But otherwise, just stay over there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put everybody on Overwatch. I'm not going to risk anything here. Because for some reason, they're not moving. Why? Seriously? The Mac is even just... Are you freaking kidding me? They're just moving outside of my range. That's not gonna... Okay. So much time spent needlessly resisting. Fighting your ascension to something greater. And yet here you are. Just as we had envisioned. In your efforts to prevent the Avatar's creation, you have followed the path we set forth. Truly exceeding even our own lofty expectations, Commander. Shut them out, Commander. More alien lies. Do you truly believe that to be the case? Okay, then. This is starting to turn a bit interesting. We still only see two enemies, which is fine enough for our snipers. Because we actually have a shot at the sector pool now. Um, I'm going to fire at the mutant to kill him uh, outright. Because I don't know what these guys are doing. There we go. A one less mutant to worry about. Not so that's a mech down and a mutant down. So there's still one mutant, one mech and the secto pulled. But Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Yeah, okay. We have that many soldiers we needed to look for Vinny. There we go. Sniper rifle in the face. And that was even a critical. So 14 damage underneath the armor. Um, yeah. They don't want to come over here. I'm just going to keep doing this. It's a bit of a weird tactic, but... That mutant was moving around to the side. So if he's trying to get closer, I'm going to have to put somebody on the left to uh, keep an eye on that. What is he doing? Is that just what they always do when they're outside of the, our reach? There we go, we just Commander, triggered them accidentally. Alien forces are stepping up their attacks on both resistance and civilian targets. There is still another way. Okay, this is... Yoshi, what is happening? I don't know what's happening, I don't even know what to say about that. And I know, why is there still a mutant over there? I thought he went to the left. This is annoying. This is really annoying. Um... I'm gonna, of course, fire at the sector pulled in a minute, but I do want to see what I can do with anybody else. Does Hugh even see somebody? He doesn't. He doesn't, which makes this kind of annoying. Um, I could use the blaster launcher, but that's just a waste of uh, a good rocket there. I could try and get closer with... Um, jazz, but I don't think that's even gonna work. Can't get to the side of the building, so I'm gonna have to just put him over here. 
There we go. Because the sector pulled is, of course, the biggest problem now. I could try and hit the muton from over here with a rapid fire shot. So 45%, but twice. I think I'm good, just going to risk that. So two coin flips. Here we go. That was a hit. Never mind. Muton taken care of. So now that means we have two... Uh, sniper shots we can take if we want to. I could actually move Kristoff back as well. I'm just going to move him. How far does the sector pod see? Because I can actually move him back outside of the building. I'm just going to do that. Oh, but we lose our oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That is not that big of an issue. Uh, we have two Overwatch shots on either side. I'm just going to move Vinny a bit closer over here in the corner then. Because I don't really... Can't really reach much further. Unless I put him over here. I could which might that. just be a bad idea. Um, then Ulrich over Go here. Q on Overwatch. Vinny on Overwatch. Ulrich on Overwatch. The commander's avatar. I should put him a bit closer. We do need to uh, keep him alive. So maybe it's not even a bad idea to keep him uh, further back. Because the Avatar needs to survive. Uh, and then Cedric's sniper shot. There we go. Let's see what happens. There should be one mech left as well. And we don't know where that mech went. He goes higher, but he doesn't see anybody. Now does he? Yeah, there we go. So there's one sniper shot going in. Probably hitting. There we go, tree damage, which is not a lot. That was a miss. That was also a miss, but one stop damage. Holy shit. That is terrifying. That's four damage. And then the pistol shot. Oh god, that missed. That's a problem. What is he gonna do? And then a machine gun. Ah, one stop damage. Okay. That is not good. He's gonna fire at Vinny. Ooh, that was a hoo 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 hoo. Please don't fire twice. Oh, shit balls. Oh, and that Mac is still alive as well. Please don't fire at Vinny. Overwatch, okay. Okay then! Goodbye! Jesus! Um, what, what can I do now? Oh, I could just fire again. But, 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 um... Let's see, we need to still take care of that mech as well. And he is on Overwatch, I haven't forgotten that. So... Could do another, another rapid fire, but that's not gonna... Gonna be in our advantage this time. So let's just fire at it. There we go, critical shot, 10 damage, Overwatch removed. There we go. Hit the, armor. Hit the armor indeed. And now we have a single shot. We still just need a single shot. And then I'm just going to take a breeder. Because that was nine enemies already. So Hugh, take care of that guy. Or not. That was, that was annoying. Um, and I kind of forgot to uh, heal there as well. Um, well, the Overwatch has been removed, so I might as well put Jazz a bit closer. Uh, Ulrich a bit closer, and then Jazz a bit closer as well. Uh, preferably over here. Hopefully he doesn't spot anything else. He shouldn't. 89%, that should hit. Yeah, bye. Another critical. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna reload everybody, heal everybody, and I'll guess I'll see you guys again when, well, when there's any... Any interesting uh, conversation going on or something happens. Commander, resistance forces are pushing back against Advent, but it's coming at a heavy price. At this rate, there may not be anything left on either side. 
From here, we can call upon an endless legion of reinforcements. You will be overrun. Yet our armies could be withdrawn at any time, Commander. Peace is within your grasp. If you would just rejoin us. Rejoin us. No, we were not really interested. Moving on. For decades, you were part of this commander. You are capable of so much more, and yet you failed to grasp the true nature of your power. Return to us, and your world will live on. Resist, and there will be nothing left to save. Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. So, um... Just moving around a bit, trying to get closer to where we need to go. Um, just looking for the right cover around this place. I do keep hearing... Uh, is this thing gonna explode? No. Keep hearing faceless running around. So I think they're on this side of the building, but there's no windows on this side. So they might come bursting through when they get the chance. Um, but we will be ready. We will be ready when they do. There we go, and then just put everybody on Overwatch. I think everybody has reloaded by now. Uh, and then the Commando's Avatar, let's put him a bit closer as well. Sadark is still pretty good over here, so I'm just gonna keep him over there. And there we go again. So Jazz heard something over there, of course, further. But I still feel like there's something on the right. As you can probably hear. And now probably the uh, ethereal is gonna say something again. Hearing reports of some randomized disruptions and enemy forces on the ground. Units suddenly laying down their arms mid-battle or turning on one another. With the tower disrupted, it could be that the elders are attempting to maintain the network on their own. The strain on them must be enormous. Oh, that is interesting. You find our forces here They require no Consider all those who have sacrificed for your cause, Commander. So many friends, so many allies. For what? I wonder what the speaker's role in all of this is, because he looks humanoid enough. I don't know if he is a turned human or not. I'm just gonna put Vinny over here and open the door in the next turn. Because there's something on the other side of this door, and I'm not really sure what it is. There might be a lot of melee enemies getting closer, and I don't want to be surprised by them. Okay, what was that? That was a weird noise. Okay, then. Yeah, you saw our true potential. Yeah, yada yada yada. Keep pushing, Commander. They're losing their grip on the world and they know it. Okay, then interesting. No. You will defeat them here as you did once before. Excuse me. Whatever you say. That was that was a weird thing to say. Is nobody gonna comment on that? No problem, boss. I'm I'm really scared now for some reason. Um, he's gonna keep crawling on further slowly. Don't really need to push this any farther than it needs to. We don't really have a visible timer, so I'm gonna assume that we have all the time in the world. I'm wondering if the commander's avatar is gonna turn on us. I hope not. Oh shit, there's something on the left as well. I'm just gonna move uh, Jazz in this direction. Over here. Still nothing. I'm just gonna move everybody to this side, because if I spread them out too much, I risk triggering too uh, 
two different batches. There we go. There we go. Four mutants. Sounds easy enough. Four mutants. The annoying thing is we just don't have the power to kill a mutant outright. Which is, of course, annoying. But, um... We might actually have the power to do so from over here. We have a few sniper rifle shots, but we need the crit to kill a mutant. Um, I could actually use the grapple and see from over... I can't even go over there, but I don't want to go too far. Uh, grapple over here. Hopefully not triggering anything else. Okay. Oh, I did hear some movement over here. Um, first up, I'm gonna lightning hands one of the mutants. I can only hit one of the mutants from over here. There we go, two damage down, which should be enough. Deflection. Yeah, it should be enough. Okay, so that's, that's his lightning hand shot. I can bring Vinny closer, and I'm wondering if I can get him close enough to do something awesome. Um, let's put him over here. I can handle that. There we go, let's get back to him. And then let's choose the lightning hands on one of these guys. Preferably one that's, yeah, I can kill probably this guy. There we go, that's three more damage on him. And then we're gonna go for a face-off. And hopefully hit all three of them, I don't think it will happen. That's a miss. But maybe we did... We did oh, that was a hit. So the two... 40% the lower chances we hit, don't but the 70% we don't hit. But it, never mind, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Um, then... I'm gonna get back to Cedric. Because he has a very nice ability called... Serial. There we go. Activate Serial, and then we kill... The closest one over here, 91% should kill him. Thank you very much. That gives us another shot to try and kill the one in the back. There we go. There we go. Yeah, thank you. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go. In the face, down and out. So that leaves two more mutals. I can't hit anyone from over here anymore for some reason because yeah the full cover probably blocks everything over there so that means we're gonna have to get closer with Ulrich but Ulrich we haven't really tapped into his abilities yet because uh, he has quite a few hasn't he so let's get Ulrich closer and let's blast that one uh, one guy over there with just a, a, a tad of saturation fire maybe we even open up the building over there Opening up uh, further sidelines, but here we go. Saturation fire. Oh, just not kill. Just didn't kill him, but of course we do get an opening for uh, well anybody else. Um, Fifteen percent with jazz. I can't get there with my sword, so that's not really handy. Could try and kill the mutant with. Uh, hmm, might have made a mistake here. And I should have removed the cover from the mutant on the right, but... You know what? 38. Might actually hit. I'm just gonna try and use Kistov's shot. Where is he? Kistov's shot on the one on the left. Not gonna use run and gun yet. But if he kills the one on the left... Ooh, that was a miss. That was a miss. I think you has a, a stalk as well, which means... Or do you have a stalk? Hunter's instinct, advanced laser sight. A hair trigger and an advanced laser sight. That's not something I can use at the moment. Because the shot percentage is really, really low. Um, but I could use the plasma blast. Nah, 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 nah. Um, it's a very low percentage chance. Even you shot is very low percentage. Um, and I think he has... Yeah, he has a stalk. Which means that either way, his shot is going to hit the uh, mutant over there. So if I go over there with the avatar, he has his null lance back. Or I could even try and mind control 
That's a 100% chance. I'm just gonna do that. Never you mind. Mind control the Muton over there. There we go. Not gonna be able to use him immediately. There we go. And then huge shots should definitely kill the Muton because the stock damage would... Yeah, there we go. That was even stock damage, so there we go. Muton down and everybody cleared out again. So that is 13 enemies, I think. So we're not even at halfway here. Um, just gonna move Jazz a bit closer. And that's pretty much our last action aside from uh, Cedric on Overwatch. We have a mutant that is scouting for us now. And I still hear Faceless. So the deep low growls of a Faceless, but... There we go, the mutant saw something. He's uh, overwatching on whatever is inside of the building. I don't know how he can see anything from over here, but... He missed something. And I think we're gonna head towards the more melee focused characters, enemies now. Holy shit! That there with my voice. That is um That is a rampage. Three berserkers and three faceless. Holy Yeah, that's three damage. It's something, I suppose. Oh my god, that I could have used that. I really could have used that. He's gonna get hit again. Oh, come on, shotgunners, please. Rangers, please hit. Not good. Yeah, not good at all. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't think we're going to have a lot of use for Vinny's um, abilities. It doesn't apparently kill my turn, Fanfire. Which I think means I can use it. Too fast for ya. There we go. Blam, blam, blam. Three hits, which is really good. And then I'm going to use his blaster bomb. Because this is... I'm not going to get another opportunity like this. Yeah, be mad all you want. Because this... Although I might want to... Might want to save that up. I can hit... Well, they're nicely spread out even. Um, I can hit only three of them at the same time, it seems. And that's maybe... Nope. They're perfectly spaced out that I only can hit three of them. So it might not be useful at the moment. I can't hit... I can't kill the, the Berserker with Vinny. So I'm going to start using somebody else. Um... Can't use Saturation Fire, but I could use the Shred Storm Cannon if I want to. You know what? I actually have a different idea. Because those are all melee focused enemies, so if I just use the Proximity Mine and put that... Same problem, of course, but... If I put that around here... That should give us... A nice explosion if they want to move. And that's going to hit at least three of those guys. There we go. Very nice. Set up. And then... Can I... Yeah, okay, thank you. We have... I could go meleeing everybody on my own, but that's not really how I roll. Um, I think I'm going to go... What is his ability? He has the Plasma Blaster, but I'm not going to really hit a lot from over here. I could, if I put him over here... How much can I hit? How much can I hit? Can I hit three of them? No, I can hit two. But I can't hit three of them. That's too bad. Hmm. So then the question is, what is the best option here? Because I could do a rupture shot on one of the berserkers as well, which might actually be a better idea. 92 on the berserker, that is closest. But I do want to try and hit the one on the left. But it seems like I can't even hit him from here. So then it is going to be the closest 
the closest berserker. There we go. So the proximity mine should kill him. That is not going to be a problem. The berserker is ruptured. Um, then we have... I'm definitely going to use run and gun this time. And then I'm going to put him over here right outside the building. That should give us a sightline on the leftmost berserker. I hope, yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna rapid fire that berserker. If I can get two hits in, that might actually kill him with the crits and all. Blammo! That's one crit. Come on, another one, another one, another one. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes! That was awesome. Whew. That was amazing. Okay, I can move him around if I want to. Maybe put him back a bit. So that I don't get hit in the face immediately. Um, what else do we have? We have Hugh. We didn't really get a shot in yet. I need to be, do need to be careful that nobody tries to kill the avatar. So I think this spot is going to be preserved for the avatar. There we go. Can we hit anybody from here? Yeah, the ruptured berserker. And the null lands. What can the null lands do from over here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Can I put that dimensional rift somewhere? That might be a nice one. Yeah, put that there as well. Now that we're at it. Blammo! Oh wow, that does immediate damage. Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought that was going to be like the... Um, the Codex's ability, but apparently not. Um, do need to go to the left if I want to hit somebody. Cover isn't really a problem at the moment, because they're all melee enemies. I'm not going to put him too close to uh, Cedric over there, though. So maybe just over here in the middle. And the Muton still has... Oh, he has an alien grenade as well. What can I do with that? Nothing. Never mind. Just going to fire at the... Uh... What can we get here? Just gonna fire at the full health faceless and hope that I can do anything else to uh Oh god damn it. Yeah, fine, fine. Should have put the, put the muton in the middle over there just to uh, draw some fire. I could fire at the berserker over there, but I think he's gonna die because of the Or he might not actually. I'm just gonna kill him. I don't wanna risk anything over here. Just gonna kill the Berserker on the right. Or not. Never mind, he missed. Okay, I think we still have Hughes shot left. So that means either the faceless on the left who's gonna get hit anyway. So I'm just gonna fire at the Berserker 90%. And that was stop damage because he missed the 90%. Interesting. So now that's... Oh. Oh, never you mind. I can fire at either of those faceless. But what I'm gonna do is put Cedric on Overwatch. Because that means I get a shot at the one that survives from the proximity mine. Because those two guys should die if they move. He's still mind controlled. What is happening? Nobody's showing me an explosion. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that only killed that one faceless. Okay. But I think the far faceless is too far away to even hit us. So, if we kill that one, thank you, Cedric. Thank you for that. We should be fine. Not too shabby. Okay, then. So, he's moving further. Yeah, he doesn't reach. Uh, Kristoff is over there, I think. Yeah, he doesn't reach anybody. And he's going to get a blade storm in his face. Slash, a damage and burning. So I don't even need to do anything because he's going to die from the burning effect alone. Oh, and that thing is going to... Yeah, that, that did that. Holy shit balls. And the frame rate is taking a dip. Um, Yeah, there goes the frame rate. Might have to take a break if that's the case. If that keeps going like this. Cedric, Cedric. I want to have Cedric. Yeah, um... Just gonna reload Cedric. And I think the frame rate returned. Time. Did the frame rate return? Yeah, okay. The frame rate is back. 
And I'm just gonna use a pistol shot to take out the faceless. Just but oh, even in the face, that was needlessly brutal. So that was six enemies. We shit, I even lost track now. Um, I think we're at 19. And I'm already ready recording for an hour. Um, this is gonna be one hell of an episode. Okay, the mutant saw the next batch, which seems to be very light. So two mutons and an archon. Which means we actually have a shot at those guys. Holy shit. That's one hell of a shot. Um, Venny even sees them, which is interesting. He has, of course, less aim than uh, Cedric has. But we might as well move a bit closer to see if we can take any of those guys out. Um, Jazz over there. Maybe I should check. Do you have sight on one of them now? Yeah, the Muton. Which means, if I use my little Muton... My little Muton... Um... Hmm. Like this. Shreds his armor, pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Throw alien grenade. Uh, take out the cover like that. Thank you very much. There we go. That's one shredding, apparently. And it seems like it hit the Archon for a bit, maybe? Not really sure. Did he hit him there? No, he didn't. Um, but Cedric can now easily take out that one mutal. So why not, eh? Goodbye, good sir. Flammo. Another kill. So 20, if I'm not mistaken. The counter will probably prove me wrong if I uh, say something stupid, but... Uh, this little pod here is undestroyed, so I might as well take cover behind that. Um, Jazz can't do anything from here. And I can't use run and gun yet, which means I'm just going to try and circle around with my rangers and keep everybody who likes to get closer can come closer if he wants to. Because even Ulrich can't see anybody, so that means you can stay over there. The avatar can go behind this cover, then he can join him in the side here. And then I'm just going to put everybody on Overwatch if I haven't missed anybody. No, I don't think I did. There we go. So they're probably going to try and focus their fire on the Muton because he's the club. Oh, mind control lost. Oh, shit. I thought that was going to last in indefinitely. But apparently it didn't. So please. Take, on, take, take out that very, very mad, very mad Muton. Thank you, Ulrich. Oh, fuck. Why do we miss? Why do we miss? Thank you. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you. That kind of fucked up my plan. I was, for some reason, I was assuming that he stayed mind controlled the entire way. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, he doesn't see anybody. That's good. That's good. Because he doesn't... That's his second movement, so he doesn't uh, get another option. That was a nice hit from Hugh. And then the Avatar misses... He goes into battle friends, and then we have one mutal left. Oh, he's gonna get a shot in. Is that a flank? Holy shit, okay. Mutons are still actually low level enemies, so that kinda. Whew, that kinda explains why he didn't only. He only got six damage in, because of the. even with the critical like that. Okay, what do we have? We have an Archon and a Muton. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. I'm just gonna put Ulrich in a better position. Yeah, I'm gonna put him over there. And then Jazz. Is it time we use your sword? Not yet. We're gonna see what we can do with anybody else. With everybody else. Um, they are positioned pretty good in relation to most of my troops, but... Hmm... Especially the Muton, because the Muton is pretty ducked in there. Um, I'm just gonna put you over here so he has a nice shot at the Archon. 68, that's not, not great, so I might actually use him to heal uh, Vinny. There we go. 
That should heal him to full health, because the six... Yeah, we heal uh, eight, if I'm not mistaken. We only have one uh, left. Hmm. What can we do with Vinny? No problem, boss. Gonna put him over here as a starter. He has a few shots he can do. Um, starting off with Lightning Hands. Because we should take advantage of that ability as much as we can. And then I think I'm gonna go for... For face off, so it's two, two shots. Hopefully they both hit, especially on the muton. Yeah, that was good. That was a critical. No, no critical on the Archon, but I think he only have has one health left or oh, two. So combined, they still have a bit left. But I do have Ulrich in a very nice position here, although that apparently doesn't go uh, come across in his uh, aim percentages. Um, I think I'm going to go for the Muton. He has one of the best shots on the Muton available. There we go. Okay. And now I can use Jazz to just take out the Archon with a Sword Swipe. That's going to be the best idea, I think. Because he's right next to uh, full cover as well. So yeah. 83. Hopefully that hits. Because of course the Archon is a bit higher than a normal enemy would be. But we go into cinematic. Thank you. Otherwise we... Wouldn't go into cinematic mode. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's it. Whew. Okay, now I have a bit of time to move everybody that's far off a bit closer. Especially Kistov over here, because he's... Yeah, he's a bit far away. And then the Avatar... Ooh, and Cedric is even farther away. Um, let's just put him... Don't really like putting guys outside of cover, but I don't think we really have a choice here. Well there we go. Then the command avatar on Overwatch, and that's apparently our last action. There we go. Anything else that wants its wants to rear its ugly head? I don't think. I don't think there is anything left. Uh, we can use the grapple now, which is good because I want to put Cedric Deploying up there. Grapple. And it's our first action, but it doesn't count as an action, so if he spots anything, we would have been uh, pretty safe. And now, uh, we are at 23 enemies, if I'm not mistaken. So that means we still have 8 enemies left. So, if there's any time to reconceal, I think it's now. So there we go. Jazz reconcealed, and then we're gonna... Ooh, is this a... What the hell? Why is there a playground in the... Av the advent fortress is that me or is that a bit weird um a answers some kind of human enclosure there yeah indeed reports of missing civilians years before the first invasion could this be them maybe they had planned to use this for some sort of psychological testing okay then that is weird um, Whatever you say. Hugh, that's since since um, Jazz doesn't see anything. I'm just gonna move forward, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, there we go. I think Jazz spotted something, although it's not. Oh ho ho ho! A gatekeeper, two archons, and two vipers. So once we move through the enclosure. They're gonna spot us, probably. Um, Whatever you say. I'm just gonna start spreading everybody out, and I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's some on the left as well. Okay. That's not that big of a problem. I just need to be careful. Because there's four troopers inside of the building. Um, I just need to be careful that I now don't trigger the five guys on the right. Um... That is interesting. How did they even spot me? Never mind. Um, let's start using saturation fire. I think that's gonna be pretty good for this. Yeah. Because that just wrecks their entire uh, area over there. If I just do it like this, maybe even a bit on the sides, so they don't have any extra cover, and then saturation fire. Give them hell, Ulrich. As you always do. Goodbye! 
So that even flat out killed one of them. And there's one still alive. Which means that's the one that's gonna get... Oh, Jesus Christ, the frame rate is going again. I'm going. Um... Need to be careful. Need to be really, really careful. That I don't trigger anything on the I'm other going. side. And then Hugh, I could technically skulljack something, but... Yeah, again, I don't want to trigger anything. So let's just get them over there so they can all have a shot at whatever is uh, up there. Cedric, what are your shots at who exactly? So the Heavy Lancer, 100%. Elite Lancer, 97. And another Elite Lancer, 100. So we still have plenty of shots left with you. Uh, so if I put you on serial... Kill confirmed. There we go. Um, we can get you to kill the Heavy Lancer. Blammo. That's one. 14 damage, holy shit. Not too shabby. And then we're gonna keep you over there. And start shooting at those guys with pistols. Uh, especially lightning hands shots on the Elite Lancer over there. A one. That's even a hit. And then I'm just gonna, just because I can, I'm just gonna go with uh, a single shot on the other one. Yeah, that, that was a window that you didn't smash already, so there we go. Oh, and another hit. And then I'm just gonna do face off, although it might actually not be needed. Let me see. Cedric? Cedric, where are you? There we go. 100% guaranteed kill on the Elite Lancer. Blammo. So that one's dead. And now we have one more... Do we have a free reload? I'm actually wondering about that. Do we have one more free reload? No, that wasn't a free reload. So that means we can't do anything else with him for now. So I'm gonna put him on Overwatch. And then somebody else is gonna have to kill that one more guy. Um... Not you, but the only one who can see him at the moment is Christoph. Which is, of course, not ideal. Because you can see him through the hole in the wall. Um, I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna put everybody else on Overwatch. Yeah, of course, that missed him. Oh, he kind of disappeared for a second there. Okay. And then, do we have another pistol shot with... No, we don't. Okay. Um, so that means I'm gonna put the Avatar and Hugh on Overwatch, and maybe even Jazz. Oh shit, they spawned... Did they spawn us? I don't think they did. Yeah, there we go. One shot. One shot should be enough. Please hit. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. That's the Heavy Lancer taken care of. Um, now I'm gonna have to be really careful. I'm gonna have to use Jazz anyway. But I think I'm going to go for one round of uh, reloads. But I'm just going to use Jazz to start scouting them. I don't oh, want to lose track of them. Because I think if the counter is correct, and if I'm correct with counting the counter, then that should have been... That should be all the enemies in the level. So those five guys that are still over there, we can now spot again. So the two Archons, two Vipers, and... Where's that second arc? Oh, it's, he's inside of the gatekeeper. And the gatekeeper are, of course, still over there. So if I just stay over here and bide my time, I should be able to reload everybody and put them in a pretty good position to take out the rest of those enemies. Um, don't think I need to reload Kristoff for now. I'm just going to put Vinny on Overwatch. And that should probably trigger them in the next turn. Uh, I'm gonna put the avatar right next to everybody here. Hopefully they don't use explosives immediately. Because that would be bad. Overwatch, Overwatch. And then of course, Cedric. That is annoying. Because he apparently doesn't see them anymore. But maybe if I just put him on Overwatch, something might happen. Yeah, there we go. He's actually the first one, what the hell? That's 8 damage on whatever the hell that was. And then 10 damage on something else. 
That was two nice shots. I think the Archon, yeah, the Archon is almost dead. One of the Archons. So now they're gonna move in. And we're gonna have a lot of Overwatch shots. Oh, that was too bad. That was another hit. It was a graze. And then another miss from the Avatar. But they're really, really close together, so I think it's high time we start using our grenades and heavy weapons. Um, Ulrich. Yes, you, you lovely bastard. Uh, so if we use heavy weapons first... Oh, don't go too far. The Shred Storm Cannon should hit all of them over there. Just gonna quickly check if I don't hit anybody of our team. No, that seems like it's gonna hit both the Vipers and the uh, Gatekeeper, which is good because we need to shred the uh, six armor of the Gatekeeper. There we go. Flammo! So that's four out of the six armor of the... Uh, of the Gatekeeper down, and of course the two Vipers are down as well. And then, I think I'm just gonna go for an Acid Bomb. On top of the Gatekeeper's ass. Giving it acid burn and reducing, removing that last bit of armor he still has. I think we're pretty much done then. Which is good, because I'm recording for an hour and a half already. So there we go, shredded the rest of it. Now, um, I do want to have Cedric shot first. Cedric, can you see the Arkel? No, the Gatekeeper. Interesting. So we can't do serial because yeah, that wouldn't really matter at this point. Just gonna just gonna check. Um because we still have this as well, and we can actually fire. Ooh, do I need to get closer for that? If I can get close enough. I do miss my other opportunity, but I'm just gonna put him over there. And then the shots should be. Oh, there's the other Archon. Now I can see the other Archon. Um, Cedric, Cedric, Cedric. Can you now see that other Archon? No, you cannot. Huh. Interesting. So the Archon is hunkered down deep in there, but they don't know that I still have Jazz over here as well. I could take a huge risk, go into Reaper mode, and start killing off the Archons here. Which I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm a man of risk. There we go, Reaper. Now let's go into melee mode. And let's start meleeing that Archon over here. Um, from over here, yeah, that's good. I know, you spotted us, you spotted us. But you don't get a shot because it's our turn. And the first one doesn't miss. There we go. That's the first slash. So Reaper allows us to keep moving now. If I want to. Because I could actually just use a rupture shot if I want to as well. Um, but we're going to have to see about that. So next up, Vinny, use your fanfire on the gatekeeper. There we go, fanfire on the gatekeeper. It could easily kill it. But then two shots need to hit. Yes, yeah, thank you. Woohoo! Okay, so that just leaves one more uh, Archon and a buttload of enemies. A buttload of uh, guys to take him out. So... Christoph, why don't you just get a bit closer? Uh, maybe... Yeah, I know the wall is almost gone, but... There we go. Um, Hugh over there. The commander's avatar are gonna keep him over there for now. Then, um, Cedric, just grapple to the next roof. There we go. And then I think, yeah, we, we won't be able to hit anything from over here. But if I put you, that's high cover. That's really good. And then I could technically fire twice at the Archon. And it's both of those shots are 100%. So that's good. Um, he still doesn't see them. See him. Hugh Nighter. So we might actually need to um, use the Commander's Avatar here. If I put him over there, do you have a shot at that Archon? There we go, we actually have. It's not amazing, we could actually mind control him as well, and it's 100%, so I don't know what's going to happen. So if I want to keep everything in check, if because I, I feel like they're going to take over the Commander's Avatar when this all ends, and I don't want to have 
an active command this avatar if that happens. So I'm just gonna mind control the Archon. And that gives us a few more actions if something else happens. There we go. My Archon. And now, yeah, something's happening. 